So I want to go back just to mention why Watergate is interesting to me because we've had so many scandals since then. Is um, it was the most you know? I know this is going to sound very unchristian, but if you're going to commit a scandal, at least get something out of it. <laughs> Do you ever you ever hear the the, the concept that you know they ask uh, they ask the uh, bank robber, well, why you rob banks? Because that's where the money is. So, you know, it's kind of like, okay, Willie Sutton, the famed bank robber, because that's where the money is. These cats, Nixon is so far ahead in the 1972 election, it wasn't funny. He wins the election by like 49 to one state. I mean, he, and he's already on path to do this. He's crushing uh, George McGovern in 1972. And a bunch of yahoos from the Republican National Committee and the, the committee to elect Nixon decide to break into the Democratic headquarters, which were in the Watergate Hotel apartment office complex, which still sits next to the Lincoln Arts Center, by the way, in Washington, D.C., right along the river. Beautiful location and a building that will live in infamy because it's, it, the whole scandal is always known by the name of that complex. But in any event, they break into the Watergate complex. Why? made no sense at all. Oh, they were going to plant bugs in there, and that didn't work, or they got caught putting the bugs in, and they were going to check to see if the Democrats had any terrible secrets that they had to know so that they could win the 1972 election. So it's like, please, I mean, it, nothing made sense. And then instead of, th instead of saying, you know what, I had a bunch of yahoos working with me, and they did some really stupid stuff, and all of them should go to jail. Nixon spends the next two years covering it up until he is impeached, and then he resigns before there is a vote of impeachment.